Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all. How are we on this fine Sunday morning, Sunday night that we all exist in? Um, the question is, is, are you seeing me? Because it says you're seeing me. Can someone please let me know? You are seeing me and hearing me. Um, all right. Hey, Mona. Yep. Mm, Mona. Bonnie. Hello. Hello, Bob. Bob. We got two Bobs. Hello, Bob. Two Bobs. Hey, Renee. How are you? How are you? And where are we going? It's good here. Thank you very much, Lee. I think AG's laptop just was having a moment and didn't want to, didn't want to, um, think, hey, Rebel, how's it going? Um, didn't want to, to acknowledge the existence of doing stuff on a Sunday morning. All right. So I am working out, as we know, we're working in, um, Karen E. Meyer's, um, images. Oh, bright light. Um, for the next few weeks, I am working out of the mystical lands of Kelswich, The Harvest Moon Wanderings. So that is the book I am working out of. And we're doing Bell Blossom Cottage. Yeah, it's got a little ladybug. Um, that's, how, that's how it was picked. Hey, Connie, how you doing? Hey. All right. I was also tossing between that one and this one. I was going to do like a nighttime scene with this one, but you know, apparently ladybugs win. So, ladybugs it is. So, what's everyone been up to in the world this week? Um, I am going to zoom in a little bit. We'll probably help, help, help somehow. We shall try that. Come on in, people. There we go. There we go. Oh, look, we're coming in. Hey, Dawn, how are you today? All right. I'm going to play. I'm going to go try and be a zucchini kitty. We're going to embrace all the Karens. And I'm going to try and use inks badly, no doubt. But we're going to give it a go. Why not? Have fun. Yeah. So that's kind of where we're going with. All right. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. Need, need, need a bigger, bigger table. Yep. Ba -dip, ba -dip, ba -dip. So then, what, what, what's been going on while I get myself sorted? Because I'm so organized this morning. Clearly not. Ah. Well, there we go. Right. It's your birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Bonnie. Happy birthday to you. Ba -do -ba -do. All right. Marcy, hello. Okay. All right. So we're just going to play. Like I said, it could end up being horrible, but let's have fun. All right. I'm going to come in with tumbled gra grass, tumbled glass, people, tumbled glass. And we're going to see how we go. I don't think I'm going to use a big one because I don't think that's going to work too successfully. Let's use a little one. All right. Oh, it's Bonnie's birthday today, and she won the first giveaway. It's meant to be. Yes, so there will be a giveaway halfway through this with the opportunity to win one of Karen's books, which I think is such a, a lovely thing by Renee and Karen. Um, obviously, for those that weren't aware, I'm sure Renee has talked about it in her stream earlier. Karen has been um, diagnosed with um, brain cancer. 
So um, just not too sure how much she'll be able to keep illustrating for. So things that we can do to help is good. All right. Alex, hello, my dear. How are you? Like I said, I'm just playing. We'll hope that at the end of this I've got something that looks okay. Because, you know, it's not nothing like me just to wing it. I was like, oh, I've got all of these inks and I've just swatched them all. And I'm like, why not use them? Other than in, in craft. So that was the idea. And I'm like... Yeah, and I'm like, we'll just em embrace the Karens. Um, so yeah, so it's a, it's a, a double, um, hey Jody. Um, it's a double whammy with this one. And, um, you know, it's not something I discuss very often, but my mother has been living with um, a benign brain tumour for um, nearly 30 years. So, well, over 30 years, actually. So, so it's, um, it's something that also rings, it rings true here in my world. I'm very much aware of impacts it can have on um, one's well-being. Hey, Fusel, how's it going? Yeah, it's always easier. Blanket hellos, especially when it's early in the morning or late at night. That's 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 about all I can manage because it's like, well, trying to keep up with everyone is so difficult. Could I use masking fluid? Yes. Did I think about it at six o'clock this morning? No. Yes, if I miss you, it's certainly not intentional. Hey, Kathleen, how are you? How's it going? Hey, Jen, how are you going? Um, I'm just playing and trying to not completely ruin this. So it's kind of, I'm, I'm kind of excited in the fact that I'm like on the first day of this event and I think I'm on the last day too. Nothing in between, but I'm just going to take that it's starting and ending with me kind of, you know, with a little bit of liberty there. It's not really, it's Renee, but I'm just, you know, I'm just going to pretend that it's all about me. Oh, so, well, it is Sunday for me, but yeah, no, I'm just pretending. 
Ah, uh, okay. Some rare complications. Oh, yeah, it's it's stru struggle. My um my mum's is inoperable, so we were very lucky that it wasn't um malignant, because that where it's located in her um hind brain is um inoperable inoperable inoperable. Oh my gosh, big words this early in the morning. So we've got to um. Always hope. Like even our, so we've got a leading surgeon here in Australia that people from over the world come to get surgery from. Even he wouldn't touch her. So, um, and he does the, the the surgeries that no one else will. I hope that all goes well with Karen and that she recovers. I did see that update about um, her surgery. Um, spider <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you all about the raining of passion fruit that I've had the last two days. Yeah, um, and there was there was things raining on me while I was pulling down, you know, the mutant passion brine that has taken over my entire yard. You. Hello, oh, Shell, hello, hello, how are you doing, my friend? Yeah, she was. Yeah, so that's about that. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Isn't that what they say? Sorry, not sorry. Who's Russell? Ew, boy. Uh, it's Shell. It probably wasn't meant to be Russell. It was probably done wrong and then it fixed itself up going, yeah, maybe it's meant to be Russell, not Fusel. I'm assuming. I'm loving the shocked response. Oh, well, it's wonderful to see you here. Mm. How is everything? And, you know, even our little group chats, a little sad. The world of working life, I get it. Do we still have the guy? He, yeah, we do still have the guy. Um, he, he's listening as, as we're doing this right now. Somewhere, maybe not. He's out having coffee on the deck. Oh no, he's in the lounge. I got a uh -huh. there from the from the distance. Mm -hmm. right. Listening to me talk to myself. Um, you're stuffing me in food. Oh, and had a few beers. Oh, this is going to get fun. We're going to have true shell shell um typing in in the chat it's gonna be awesome it's gonna be like good old times um we went out for dinner last night and may have had a lot of food and a lot of well i didn't because i was driving but um because my my bet one of my best friends owns a restaurant so he, he was he was loading up um tow man with um with some different alcohols 
<laughs> and then, so then on the way home, it was like, oh, really nice. We had this caramel tequila. And I was like, oh, yeah, we need that. So on the way home, it was then into the um, Bottolo, into Uncle Dan's. And um, and then the nicest young young um, man served us. And he was awesome. And then so then we were doing some tasting. So it was it was an interesting night. So it was like, yeah, cool. Because I, I went up and found this young guy and I'm like, um, I can't find the tequila. And he's like, I bet you are after the caramel one. And I went, how did you know that of all tequilas do I want this particular? And he's like, I just could read you. And I'm like, you are a legend. You're a legend, young man. Yes, please find me the caramel one. And then he, and then I said that I just had it from Carl's and he's like, yeah, he's, he's our biggest buyer of it. And I'm like, I can understand why it's great. No. It was good. Oh no, your video froze. Oh no. How are you, Atlanta? Welcome. Oh. Oh. Oh, did I say hello to you, Ronnie? I don't even know, but hello if I didn't. I would never ignore you intentionally. Corona, macaroni. I feel like macaroni. Rona. I know, isn't the blue really nice? It's such a nice color. So it's tumbled glass. So that's what I'm using. It's really pretty. Oh. We'll play with it in a second because it's an oxide, so it's going to do some wicked stuff when I add some water to it. So we'll play with it in a bit and have a look at what, what occurs. But I am no, um, no, no Karen Zucchini Kitty or Karen Myers. I'm just no Karen. Which here, in a, you know, is generally a good thing to not be a Karen. But in this case, they're both awesome Karens. So there are good Karens out there. Poor Karen got the raw end of the stick by becoming don't be a Karen. Hey. Oh, yeah, I nearly, I was tossing today about what pencils to use for details and I nearly pulled out the Shapirs as well. I was like, I haven't given you any love for a while and it was a toss and I was like, mm, which pencil am I going to use? And then something said to me, no, not the Shapirs, because uh, my head goes, I think someone else is going to use them. And so I didn't. So I must have just known. Must have been instinctive. Must have been like in my brain going, definitely Shell's going to pull out the Shapirs because that's totally. Oh. I haven't even swatched them. <laughs> um. Oh. So you're saying I'm being slow at the moment, Renee? Is that what you're what you're saying? I'd be slow, which is true. I am kind of it today, but that's okay. 
I'm okay with that. And usually I'm not the slow one. Am I? Oh, someone can spell it. Oh, no, still not quite, Alex. You got the F, the R and the A around, but you're the closest. Um, oh yeah, I'll definitely be bringing out the ones that you made later. Um, so the ones that Angie made were just like little bits of dowel. That one's lost the top. Little bits of dowel with um little bits of felt on the top. So nice and tiny. All right. Just a bit of spraying with some water. And a bit of lifting just to get some oxidation happening. Just for a bit of fun in the sky. So I'm just spraying with a little bit of water. Uh. And the good thing about um, the oxa, the inks, the distress inks, is they're water reactive. So I'm just using it to lift out of a couple of places where I don't want it quite so strong. All right. Yeah. Yeah, Lena, I just don't because it becomes another full set syndrome. No, you're cheating. <laughs> That's all right. Key away. I'm all about that. All right. Okay. Well, while the sky dries on up, I am going to start on the good ass because you know Renee's ahead of me, so I better better catch up. Good ass. Uh... <laughs> yes, <laughs> I just saw that. Ah, oh, well, we'll go this one. So we're missing we're missing a few of the of the distress oxides. So just a few that are there. And um, Angie's ordered the the remaining ones. And it's like, yeah, my grass would have been probably a good one. But we're going to go with tw twisted citron, twisted sisters. Let's get going. No, I don't think we're done. Do you, but Renee, I nearly, nearly decided to do exactly the same thing with the Derwent drawing pencils. I was like, you know, this would be really cool done in Derwent drawing pencils. And then I'm like, <sighs> and I thought about it. And then I went, because I'd like that, like that vintage, it would look like a vintage old um, plate, fairy plate. That they used to do the illustrations and i went ha nah. oh i'm glad someone's doing it because yeah i was sleeping during your stream i've got to go back and have a look um but that is awesome i'm glad someone's doing it with the drawings because it's going to look so cool so this isn't an oxide this is just an ink so it's a little bit more translucent which is fine we'll play with it later um just get about getting some color down at this point That's that's the one I'm using. Yeah. Eel, eel. I'm off screen. Thanks. Thank you.
Oh, you ordered a bit, ebook. You're gonna get back. All right. Yeah. Yep. This is this is the only one I have. So I was like, I was gonna order another one off Etsy, and then I went, you know what? I probably should color in the one that I actually have. And it's cool because there's two copies of it um, within the book too. So if I completely stuff this, which is likely to happen, um, I've got a second copy. Yeah, Angie brought up that she got the new colours of the ink tents too. So i have to have a play with them at some time in the next coming weeks. But I don't think this this Amazon e paper is is up to ink tense life. Uh, it is, uh, no, I don't want to. Mm -hmm. Um Yeah, I don't know. I'm just Having a bit of fun with them. I've never actually coloured with them, so I'm like, well, let's have let's have fun with these guys. See what happens. We got very bright green grass. yeah it's one of those things i've got the problem is is that i've got so many options like you name it we own it pretty much and it's there's only so much you can use within a given point in time and it's yeah there's lots of things i need to play with more uh, yeah. I'm so glad you're using the Derwent drawings because I did look at this and went, you know, this could so be done with the drawing pencils. I love it. Love it. Um, seems like a lot of yellows in the new pencils, new ink pens. Had a bit of a look. Mm -hmm. All right. More greys would have been good. Oh, they do bomb. They do burn them. And um. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I know there is some greys, but more would have been good. Um, hey Jamie, how's it going? How you doing? What's happening? Um, they're just water reactive, so distress inks. So we'll pull out, I'll pull out, um, give you an idea. So they are water reactive inks, so they distress when water is added. So in this case, we've got that is all the same ink color, but just by the addition of water and, and doing different things with it. So this is an oxide, so it oxidizes and it's a bit more opaque. And then this is the um, ink over here. So they 
they react with water and get change. So it gives it just a real kind of grungy kind of look to it and so forth, if that helps at all. Um, but yeah, they're just Tim Holtz wine. They're just a little bit different. Um, so if you take like a brown, so we've got that. Again, it's all the same ink. This is the ink that's the oxide down there. The inks are a little bit more translucent, so they're a little bit easier to see through. But it gives you a little bit of a, an idea of um, what they do. But that's all it is. Yeah, like Tim Holtz gets everyone's money, basically. Yeah, so um, so he has lines like obviously this one um, through Ranger. He has lines with a few things with Sizzix and a few different others, um, but it's all a distress kind of line. Um, yeah. Oh yes, I I think I'm I, I'm not not a huge stickles person. So I um I've got a couple of um glitter dimensional glitter things, but I never think to use them. Yeah. Uh, yeah that's cool um yeah they blend really nicely together so you can actually get some really nice blends with them um which i'll come in and do later at the moment i'm just trying to get base color down and then i'll go play a little bit more um. <laughs> yeah. I see I love glitter just, just not not so much on I mean I love it on my eyeballs that's where I wear most of my glitter I like to sparkle All right, we've got most of that. Let's have a little bit more of a play. <laughs> oh, good guys. Mm. <laughs> Google eyes, so much fun. I, ha I have a little container full of Google eyes somewhere. So much fun. Uh, yeah. Right. All right. Now I'm just going to come in and try and pick up some of this that I've got in places where I don't want. So I'm just putting some water there. And the beauty of the inks is that they will lift up as long as you don't go too crazy i'm not going to completely get rid of it but get rid of some mm. 
they'll lie about. Alright, I'll be there forever if I do that. I can be bothered. I'm over that idea. <laughs> Too impatient for that. Um, I've lost my lid. Listen, I've lost my mind too, so whatever works. All right, okay. Alkali dokali. Let's um do a bit of a spray, but wah, 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 wah. It's like plop. All right, um. What am I going to come in and do? Mm. Yeah, man. All right. All right. Uh. All right, you're going to hear a noise in the background for a bit. Um, yeah, you don't have to put the fans down. You, you do your thing. Are you back to reality? Oh, yeah, I'm back at work. Reality is real. I'm just drawing it with my heat gun. And I don't have one of those, you know, like I sat there and considered getting one of those, you know, fancy craft heat guns. And then I decided no. Because I've got that instead. <laughs> Let's just go heavy duty. And it's like, yeah. All right. Send all the like <laughs> yeah. Yes, Jody. Hey Angela, how's it going? Hey Sue. So I've cleared her in Google. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I haven't been doodling anything on any paper. I don't know what you're talking about, woman. You see anything, girl? All right, so I'm going to come in with forest moss now. So this is forest moss. Ah, you burn the paper with that monster. Yeah, I know. Ryobi. Um, oh, yeah, it's probably an Aussie thing in the fact that, like, if we're going to do it, let's just do it big and um, – but it's also that way I can use it if out, out in, like, tool land as well. Like, if I can use it in craft and in, you know, tool land, that's awesome. Why not? Why not have it for both? That's my thoughts. Hmm. <laughs> yeah i always feel like taking things way too seriously when i use that one here but you know have i burnt paper show yes at some sometimes i may have been a bit too aggressive with it <laughs> And um, burnt some, maybe, maybe not. When it's when the paper starts smoking, you're like, <laughs> smoking. Uh, uh. 
Don't danger an Aussie, they'll melt you. Yeah, yeah. Listen. We might not have guns here, but we know how to use everything else we got. It's like, ha ha. And the fact that I've just spent the last two days um, pulling down the mutant passion rind of my yard that required, you know, cutting down 5,000 trees that were dead underneath the weight of the mutant passion rind. I'm like, that's all right. They will bounce back the plants, which is good now that the passion rind's gone. They will re regrow and live their best life, which is good. Oh, you can not use it. You can go nuts not using a heat gun. Some people don't like the change it makes. Um, to the colours and stuff. And there's a difference even with these distress inks, whether you let let them dry naturally versus with a heat gun, the changes the how it looks. Um, I'm just going to come back in with some twisted citron and just um, kind of blend it out a little bit now. I'm just having fun. I'm kind of like, why not? If it works, it works. If it doesn't, you just sit there and go, well, we won't do what she did. I'm like, that works. Your page, you do it. That's exactly right. Me, I'm impatient, so I use a heat gun for everything. <laughs> I've done um, graphite with colored pencil drawing. I like that look. I like the two tones. Um, all right. Okay. Let's go into hmm. you look good. Rustic wilderness. Let's go with that. I'm going to use one of Angie's little tools. I don't follow any rules. I don't think that's, I think that's what the beauty of art is, is you do you. See, I'm embracing Timmy there. You do you. You do you whatever you want to do. Um, oh, they are, as, as, um, <laughs> as Andrew said, 
They are pricey everywhere. Timmy Mc gets a lot of people's money. Let's put it this way. There's a reason why he's multimillionaire. Mm. Uh, but he also makes stuff that, you know, it's just that little bit different. And he's very good at marketing it. Note to self, when in the middle of an anxiety um, attack, don't watch a Timmy live. Because we'll end up spending, you know, way too much money shipping limited paints from the US because you have issues. Just saying. So I'm using the edge of this felt deliberately um, because I'm getting some striations through the leaves. Um, like I want, I want that different lay down of color. I'm not trying for a perfect blend. Um, I'm actually going to use use it to it as advantage. Um, yeah, I wing and a prayer every time. Like people sit there and go, "Oh, I like how you done this." I'm like, "How'd you do that?" I'm like, oh, "I'm just making it up, making it up like I always do." It's like, so now I'm going to come in with the actual felt bit and just blend a little bit out. Um, Kind of point. Let's come in with forest moss in the oxide. Oh yeah, but I'm not the paper I'm using most time when I'm drying it is for mixed media. I'm I'm not after it for two or anything like that. Most time I want the paper all crinkly and damaged. Um, yeah, I've ever seen, I've seen, I've ever seen him build to make major. <laughs> ah, yes, yes. Oh, I like to use different things, and then you, you know, that's what happens. You sit there and go, ah, oh, but what, what major purchase are you getting today? Because didn't you get, wasn't it a TV or something last time? I can't remember. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know you're off to get something. Yeah. Um, I have to buy a new lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> if you're uh, I love that, Jodie. Yep. yep. Yeah, it was a motorhome. That's right. I knew it was something. That's right. Why not? Why not? Sounds great. I can't see the problem with it. I don't know. Do you really see a problem with it? I don't know. I'm like, sounds great. Um, okay. Uh, going to go to the other end of the stick and I'm going to use a bundled sage. Ah. Game top team drop to the stream. <laughs> you have a lawnmower. What kind of lawnmower are you getting? A, a pet, a, um, oh, so you guys use gas. Um, are you getting like a gas powered one or are you getting a battery powered one? Or is it a ride on? What you getting? What kind of mower? I want to know. I like to know these things.
a ride on. <laughs> Michelle, you wouldn't even have a yard big enough in England to even warrant a ride on. I reckon I could push mow your farms. Ew. Oh, no, what have I done? Oh, look what I did. I smudged. I didn't realise I had a thingy on the bottom of it. Look, look, look. Oh, oh, oh. We'll make it work. I'll make it work. Don't you worry about it. Saw nothing. No errors here. I don't make mistakes. I only deliberate learning opportunities. It's, it's moss coming off the thing. It's it. I will make it work. Don't you worry about it. You know, you know me. You know me. We will. But note to self, don't put the ink pad onto the picture next time, Tammy. Let's not. Okay. All right. Let's do some... What am I going to use? Tell me, people. Brushed corduroy. Oops, dropping stuff everywhere. Yeah, that's it. it it's all intentional. I del did it deliberately. Battery. Mm. We mainly use goats around here. <laughs> hey, I like the name brands too. I'm just saying. Um, yeah, happy, happy. I mean, I agree. But um, I am all, oh, John Deere. Nice. All right, cool, cool. I like it. I like it. I like his work. All right. I'm going to come in with brush corduroy, not onto the picture. Because we saw how well that went. That played out real well up there. We'll fix that later. So is an oxide brushed corduroy. It's maybe through, it could be the, what were they called? Oh, no, something. The nifflers, snifflers or something. The prairie snifflers, that's it. Ah. Uh. Oh. oh, look, we're nearly halfway through. Nearly time for a giveaway. Woohoo! Giveaway time.
So there will be a giveaway. Um, I'm going to do, you know, the generic rules of 1 to 100, um, no retractions, blah, 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 random number generator. I think we've all been around enough um, enough giveaways to, to know, know the drill. Um, but the one is, is that you have to email Renee, not me. Um, so I will put her... It, well, actually, probably Renee. I'll probably put it in, <laughs> in, in, in here when um, it comes time to that, and let her know um, that you won. And I think you've got an option from any of the lands, so any of the mystical lands, so either Kelswitch. Yeah, I'm not even remembering what the other one's called. Lysandra mm -hmm. and something else. Um, but them, you know, them. Uh, all right, so we've got brush corduroy there. Um, I'm going to come in deliberately and wet this because brush corduroy does the wickedest stuff. The oxide does cool stuff with um with water. All right. Okay. Oh, uh, China. There you go. Hey, Shannon, how's it going? Yeah, yeah. It was a, one I did a couple of weeks ago, Jen. It was a, oh, I don't know. Honestly, I can't even remember. It was a long time ago. Uh, hey, Calamity, how's it going? Um, all right. Teenager boy, yes, yeah, smelly farts. I don't know if that's what you were alluding to, but I'm um, like, and they seem to like it. They seem to be proud of them, even funnier. They're just like, yeah, let's not be with your smelly farts right now, please. Huh? Um. Okay, 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 let's go with mm. <laughs> antique linen, antique buy. So I'm using antique linen by now. Uh, nearly time. I think most of today will be obviously doing this base layer with the inks and then we'll come in and start um, adding detail. Like you know that that's supposed to be sky, not 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 um not house. Man. Um. All right, so we're ready for the giveaway. I hope so. I hope it is. Ah. All right, I am going to put go, go, go into the chat. And once I do that, you're going to um, place a number between 1 and 100. Um, just no conversation whilst we do the giveaway. We'll do it for like a minute or so, give everyone an opportunity to get their numbers in. First number in, no retractions. 
Um, just remember that while it might appear on your screen that you got the number in first, it's actually what will appear on how it appears in the order of the chat. Um, and then I will warn you and go stop, 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 stop. And then I will use a random number generator. You will need to contact Renee directly through email. And I think I think that's all of the rules. Okay. All right. So I hope you're ready. Yeah, it was Jane Hankins. Thank you. Good. Thank you, Andy. I was trying to remember who it was. All right. Okay, you ready? Go, go, go. Go nuts. Go, 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 go. Bow, 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 bow. What number will it be? Will it be number three? Or it could be number twenty-two. <laughs> Whatever number it is, it'll be a giveaway to you. Come on, that was good. Oh, that was good. No. Yeah. Right. Remember that. Mm -hmm. All right, keep going for it. I'll give you another minute. I'm going to use some of this antique linen on the toadstools, on the mushies. Mushy, mushy, mushy. It's got a lot of mushy. Mm. A little bit of mushy. Ba -ba. Make a little bit on the acorn tops. All right, ten more seconds. Everyone get an opportunity to put it in. Come on, there's got to be more out there. Ten more seconds. Get a number in. All right, chance to go in the giveaway. Get one of these bookie books. All right. Ten, nine, eight, eight and a half, eight and three quarters. Oh, now I'm going up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. Cue bananas. All right, remembering it's number closest without going over. Hopefully it's not a low one, otherwise we'll just re re um do the, the spinner spin. Close. Anyway, all right. Okay, we're ready. Ah ha ha one. Uh, 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 two, uh, 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 three. Okay, all right, let's go. 55. Yo. Oh, we got one on the nose. Whoa, that is awesome. That rarely happens. Well done, Sue. Congrats. So you need to email Renee. Um, Renee will put in her email address. Saves me looking it up and finding it. Thanks, Renee. There you go. Oh, Andy's already got it. But, um, oh, no. Da -da -da -da. Congratulations to the. All right. Now we're going to come in with gathered twigs. Why not? 
Let's do this guy the twigs. Oh, this was having a good old scratch and groan over there. Yes, Karen has been absolutely so incredibly generous with the giveaways, especially in her the time that she's having at this point. Um, and sign of a good person that even through their own own um, trauma and tragedies and and all of that, they still think of others. I think it's wonderful. And I'm sure just like most of the illustrators and stuff, they just get excited when they see people colouring their work instead of some AI generated thing. Um, all right, so we're getting some gathered twigs there. having a lot of discussion yesterday at a, um, at a meeting I was at around teaching and the um, impact that AI is going to have because it's around there's nothing you know we can't change it but how are we going to monitor it and utilize it and oh, it's just yeah there's a whole lot of conversation around that Freaks me out. Freaks me out that they can get some something to make them sound like they're intelligent, but they probably won't even know what they wrote. And be like, what's this word mean? Um, and be like, yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, Yeah, so it was a big discussion. And then obviously mobile phones and vaping. Oh, just so many things at the moment that kids have got access to. And it's just the ease of the access more than anything. All right. Uh, still working with gathered twigs. Just playing. So we um to make a point we we got AI to actually write the arguments for us against itself. It's kind of funny, but anyway. Um, all right. Oh, down here we got some timber down here. Um, Yeah, and that's it. People will always find a way. It's just the ease of it. But usually I can tell, you know, like you can tell when a kid, it's not authentically their work, um, but you can tell the AI to write it at whatever level and oh, it's just, yeah, 
it's a, it's a it's going to be interesting. And I, you know, as as someone that does create some art, I have that. I really hate the AI generated art. Well, there's always that people out there to make quick buck without any conscience at the moment, you know. I don't know how it is in other places in the world, but I've seen like 5,000 bake stores open up. And it's like make quick buck before, um, you know, the legislation changes the availability of it. And because people have got this assumption that it's not smoking. Um, and then, yeah, the amount of AI generated books that are going out and artworks and just issues, issues, issues I have with that. I'm all about authenticity. All right. Uh, money, 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 money. Money. All right, that'll do for now of that one. All right. Uh, what do I want to do now? Um, what's the name with vintage photo? Hey, B, how's it going? So there you go. I've just been on my pedestal. I'll come down off it now. Mm. I'll come back to back to the real world. Wow. All right, look at that. What else can we do with this one? Uh, I'll do for now. I'll do for now. Uh, let's come in with fired brick, eh? Sounds like a good name. Mm. Um. All right. Okay. So, um, what else has been happening in, in the world? Um, yep, I've talked about my passion fruit vine. Oh my gosh, they're so heavy. Um, what oh. else have we done? I have. Um, Got a house inspection in a couple of weeks, the joys of renting. So trying to get everything looking good for that. Not that my house ever was horrible, but you just I, I like them to come and be like, yeah. Yeah. I like so got some tidy up to do with that. And yeah. Oh, he bought a zero turning. Right. Nice, Jen. Zero turn. Love it. Yeah, next week is market in Brisbane. I've got to go to Brisbane and then drive back at night time so I can go to the market the next day. So I won't be on. And it's on the schedule that I'm not on next weekend anyway. 
Um, I've got to I've got to go do things. Uh, still haven't made anything for it. I probably should actually finish something. Uh, but you know, you know how it goes. Like, I've got that i've got markets i've got to go to brisbane council and i've got 30 drafts that i have to mark over the weekend so it's going to be great no sleep for me next weekend and then the weekend after i've got to do marking over the weekend oh, love the life of a teacher a couple of times a year um marking if i could get if ai if i could get ai to mark my work then i might like it That'd be great. Not write my work, but mark other people's kids' work. That'd be awesome. I'd be like, yes, please. Yeah. I'm going to need a little bit of this fire brick up through here. All right. Um, hopefully, hopefully. Might bring a little bit of it down onto this leaf. Alrighty, that one. Maybe it'd give you something to mow. <laughs> I don't think that's going to keep him super busy, but it might work. Uh, let's go with crackling campfire. Just let him get a chainsaw. Because that's like, you know, a mower and a chainsaw, you'll never see him. You'll be like, boop, boop. Hmm. Um, you're in love? What are you in love with, Shell? Hopefully your husband and your children, but you know. All right, got a bit of that. Um, that's a nice one. Let's let's do a couple of we'll get this one up here. Oh, yeah, yeah, Spear Farben's uh, amazing. The Reds, oh, oh. I will, they might, they're, they, they're one of my favourite sets with Reds. We all know how I feel about Reds, so. Um, all right, I did that one, that colour. All right. Let's come in with some Applejack plaid. Oh, yeah, I know. Isn't it nice to just get in sometimes and um, just embrace, embrace the, the colouring? Oh, I'm glad. Yeah, but they are beautiful and they're pretty. I just like looking at them. They're shiny. It's like, mmm, shiny. Um... Yeah, so we got that. All right. Uh, let's 
let's go in with this one. I'm going to go in with saltwater taffy. Oh, yeah. Listen, Shell, you're like me. We'll snap anything. Wait, let's get real. Wait, 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 wait. That's just who we are. They'll say, just, you know, non breakable, resist breakage. And I'll be like, yeah. Shell and I haven't got to them yet. Feel strange, yeah. I get that. I'm gonna. I've got to do. I'm doing a. I'm doing a paint pour in the next couple of weeks, and it's gonna be weird ha doing that, having a canvas in my hands again. Cause it feels like forever since I've done one. Oh, so it is when you step away from things for a while. It's kind of like really strange. Uh, Okay. Oh. No worries. Yes. Yes, Jen. Enjoy um going for a ride out on the um on the on the mower. You gotta go for a ride around that with a beer in your hand, of course. Go for a scoot scoot around. So enjoy the scoot scoot. Uh, let's pick it up a little bit, it's gone over. And coloring it back in. Look at that. Look at that. All right. Um, this is dried a little bit. We'll go back in and um, cover up my deliberate thing, you know, because I did it deliberately, remember? All right. Money, money, money. Now I've got that song in my head. Money. Right. Um, okay. So slowly getting there, slowly getting um getting some colour lay down that we can go in and do some stuff with. Later. All right, let's come in with squeezed lemonade, which is a bright yellow. Yeah, that. All right. Um, the mines. Come in with this color, shaded lilac. How's the time going? Oh, yeah, it's going pretty good. Going pretty good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Jody, you're actually right. She didn't snap pencil. It'd be like, how hard is that pencil? Mm. 
All right. Okay, how are we looking? Hmm. Uh, what do I want to use down there? Um, let's go this one because it's here. I'm just using whatever is left on a on a on a felty piece. All right. Um, just so I got color there. All right. Okay. There's both. There's a carrot and a bloke talking. So a bit of both. Alright, so I'm coming in with Lost Shadow. Awesome. Well done, Bob. Birthday cake. Oh, yum. Yum, yum. Birthday cake. What flavour? That's what I want to know. Kind of birthday cake. Hey, Tanya, how's it going? Uh, yellow cake with chocolate. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Very nice, indeed. Appetite is Tonya. Yes, it is indeed. How's Mary doing, Tonya? Tonya? I, I just, yeah, listen, I just love food. <sighs> oh, food last night. Oh, I love, I love that. It's what, my favourite place to go. The food was amazing. Um, had oysters with um, lemon myrtle and tarragon Ooh. and it was so good right. and the oysters were fresh and oh, Oh, I, I like it. It was great. Um, yes, it is Toe Man. Yes, Toe Man is doing okay. Um, he's talking out there. Oh, no, he's talking to someone. Probably his dad. I don't know. 
Um, All right. Oh, no, it was just fine on that. Um, but it was with the lemon mer. It was just really nice. Mm. And so George is sitting there and she's like, oh, I've never, I haven't had an oyster before. And I said, you can try one if you want. Because, you know, as we know, most kids turn their nose up at the idea of eating oysters. I don't know why. Um, and um, I said, go, go nuts, have one. So she did. And she really enjoyed it. And I'm like, they were really fresh oysters. This is hickory smoke. Um, and I was like, um, I said, they, they're great oysters to try it on because they're not fishy or any of that. They just tasted great. And she had a good chew on it. And she was, she did really well. Proud of her. Um, <laughs> good point, Connie. Good point. Um, But it's kind of like coriander it tastes like dirt to me, you know. We all we all have different kind of um, different tastes. You yeah, know, they were, they were fantastic. And then I introduced Tom in to um, California chicken waffles. Um, so having ice cream with fried chicken, maple syrup, and all that. So I was like, if you come in here, you've got to try this. This is a signature dish. And, um, yeah. And then Georgia had chimichanga, like she always does. Um, it was, I just love, I love my friend's restaurant. Um, I think, you know, the fact that they're my friends also helps because I, I just sit there and I want to support them. So I'm just adding bits in now um, so that we can come in and start detailing. Um, so I'm just adding in last little bits of colour so that we can do that. Um, let's get this three, I think. Um, mm, yeah. Um, empty mouth from the shell. That's that's the way to have it. It's like, <sighs> yum. Yum, yum, yum. It's like, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Now I'm thinking about oysters. Mm. They give me the oysters. All right. Well, I think that's mostly done. Mostly done. We can get in and start doing some um, detail work. I didn't know if we'd get into it today, but I think we will be. It is awesome. I'm just going to put the inks away. Pretty dry. Um, 
<laughs> oh, Shell. Uh. Yeah, and that's fair enough. Um, and bad oysters can smell really oh. bad. Mm. Sorry, I'm just giving it a quick once over over here, just so it's. I know it's dry. All right. Okay, don't kill it. There we go. <laughs> it had to be right when I was taking a drink there. <laughs> yeah, so I, I made this the other day out of like um like cardboard and stuff to hold all my things, but it, it's it's kind of full. So I need another one. But there's plenty of room. There's room to make it bigger. It's like, yep. Yep, yep. I reckon Andy will be all over it because she's got she's got the cricket thingy that can cut the the thin wood thing to make it a bit more sturdy sturdy. What's the lid? Where did my lid go? Rude. Watercolor lids, man. They water pants. They always disappear. All right. Okay. Um. All right. What am I doing? Pencils. Oh, it's all right, I'll get it later. Uh, all right, what am I going to use? Polys. I figured we might bring out the polys. Why not? I'm trying to share my love around with the pencils. I'm like, okay, let's go with the polychromous. Right. Let's go with leaf green. That's a, that's a good color. Right. We shall start up here in the corner where I belong. Oh, I forgot that one up there. Renee, you didn't tell me I forgot that one. What's your fault? <laughs> I'm blaming you. She's too busy colouring her page, not, not paying attention to me missing stuff. All right. Some leaf green. You think your pencils hate me? They, that's exactly right, Shell. That's the beauty about pencils. They don't go bad. And we will eventually get back to them and love them at some point. All right, chrome oxide green. <laughs> oh, Renee. Oh. oh, I love it. Clearly, just put the pants. 
hands down. <laughs> All right, let's come in with another one. That's the one called Gray Six. <laughs> Step away from the pen. Actually, actually, I'm going to stay with that cold grey six. I'm just going to start. Perfect colour. Yes. Oh, did I go outside the lines there or what? Mm hmm. Make sure you do miss things. It's all right. I eventually find them. But your eye for detail is like no one else's. You see all. And it's like, oh, she sees all. Oh, I haven't told you how sad I am. I, my um, jade ring must have broken in all of the passion fruit vine destroying. Um, but yeah, I've lost, I've lost my jade ring. So it has to have broken because it was held in by another ring. So yeah, I noticed yesterday that it was no longer on my thumb. So the jade has returned to the earth in some way, shape, or form. Um, but yeah, I'm like now we've got to we're gonna have to be on the hunt for another jade ring. Um, but it come from New Zealand, but it's lasted a good good chunk of time. Like for jade, it stayed on for a lot of time, so it's absorbed a whole lot of things over years. It was chipped and damaged and everything, but I've had it for four four years or more. Um, yeah, but yeah, it's broken. Like it had to have broken for um for it to be off my thumb. So I was like, oh well, see what happens. I ain't too worried. But um, because I was only saying the other day to someone that's we we're talking about it, crystals and stones at school, and um, I was saying that I've had my jade on for a long time. I'm surprised that it's still it's still going. Um, you know. How much more could it absorb? Clearly, the the passion fruit was the the end game for it. It was like no more, no more. Um, right. Going to come in with violet. Violet. It's been so funny. Like I've had different jade pieces over the years and um, it's something you've got to get for yourself um, because like I've, I've picked up some jade pieces and it, it's not for me. Like I can't wear it. I keep losing it. It keeps falling off. Um, I'm very much a believer in that the jade will pick if it's the right piece for you. Um, so it's like... Yeah, so it's kind of like, oh, I lost it. 
at dark indigo. Hmm. Yeah, no, it's okay. I will be on the hunt now, and when I see the right piece, I will, I will snivel it up. I'm not going back to New Zealand to get another piece of New Zealand jade. Let's put it that way. <laughs> not, no, I'd like to, just not at this point. Mm. Mind you, it's only seven more weeks until I'll be heading down to see the cursed child. I'm like, a, a little bit excited by that. Right. Sky blue. Um, yeah, so I'm a little bit excited. To, uh, I didn't think I was going to get to see the production getting there last week of it. Uh, I'm like, yeah. Oh. All right. Yeah, yeah. Add um, Prismacolor White. And I've booked in to go, go up to the snow. Okay. I'm like, yup. Right. Yeah. Yeah, Amy. And that's it. Like, it is, like, I could go buy, like, order one, but I just, that's something I want to pick in person. Like, I looked online and I went, you know what, no, I'm just going to wait until I can pick it in person because it needs to thing. Because I did think about it and I'm like, no. Because where did I get it? Um, trying to think of where I got it in New Zealand. Um, was it Aratoa? Might have been. I don't know. Um, yeah. All right. So there we go. We got we got some you know blue belly things happening there. All right. Okay. Might be a little Daisy. Daisy. All right. Coming in with middle cadmium red. Gray six. Sugar. And then I'm going to come in with probably um, maybe coal gray four. And hello, by the way, Amy. Yes. Um, so what, what part of New Zealand are you based in? North or South? Such a beautiful country. All right. Chrome oxide green. And a little bit of earth green yellowish, I think. There we go. That one. Um, north, nice. 
work on stuff nice nice yep i get that one um i don't know what what color do i want to use there I'm going to go for India Red. Uh, yeah, I like a lot. I like to lick it, lick it. I like to lick it. Lick it! Yes, we know I'm a little bit old. Mm -hmm. uh, mm, no, 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 no. Warm grey. Six. All right. And then I think I'm going to use light cadmium yellow let's bring a bit of brightness into it okay all right it's nearly that time Go out see if I can see some any straggling passion fruit vine. Like, oh. All right. Okay. Mind you, if I had collected all of the passion fruit instead of dumping it all, I probably could have made millions with the amount of passion fruit that went went down went down the bank to go into a bonfire. All right. Oh, so it was so good. My um my neighbour come over the other day to drop some avocados off, and um we were talking about. Um, the yard and I said I was going to get rid of all of the vine and some of the trees and stuff that needed to be cut down because the branches and all were dead from the vine and um, he's like what are you doing with all of the the waste and I said I oh, will just take the truck in the trailer out to the, the dump and um, he's like nah he goes I'll show you where to put it down by the bank he goes and we'll have a bonfire and I'm like awesome I'll buy the beers and for you I won't drink it but and um we're gonna have a bonfire down by the riverbank because his his house is he's classified as a farm, so he can have a bonfire. So we're gonna have, we're gonna have a big bonfire, and uh, hopefully those passion fruit will be popping, and, like, pum, pum, and that'll be fun. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're, you're okay. That's all right. I'm leaving now anyway, Shell. So you can you can um you can go back to. To full on attention span and to the to the colorant. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Um, all right, there we go. So that is where I've gotten up to date. Like I said, most of it was about laying base color down with the inks, and we will come up and improve it. At the moment, it kind of looks a little bit like you know a kid's color. That hopefully I will improve on it. <laughs> I was honestly just having fun, um, but we will come back to it. Um, Take care, everyone, and I will see you in a couple of weeks um, on stream. I won't be on next weekend. Now you're behind. <laughs> um, I will see you in a couple of weeks to continue working on this one, and we'll finish it up and add the details, and, yeah, we'll see how it works. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, look after yourselves, and for those next weekend, if I don't get to see you, have a, and it is appropriate, happy Mother's Day, Woman's Day, Aunt's Day, sis, you know, and if you, yeah. All two years. All right. Okay. Take care. Bye.